the Discover Store is Steam Deck software center for managing desktop applications. However, users frequently encounter several common issues that prevent proper installation and management of Flatpak applications. The Discover Store serves as the graphical interface for installing Flatpak applications outside of Steam's ecosystem. When it works properly, users can browse and install productivity software, emulators, and other desktop applications. The most common Discover Store issues include network connectivity problems that prevent access to FlatHub repositories, Flatpak runtime conflicts causing installation failures, corrupted cache leading to incomplete package listings, permission errors during installation or updates, and repository synchronization failures after system updates. To fix network connectivity issues, start by resetting your network configuration. Use the command sudo systemctl restart network manager to restart the network service and establish fresh connections. Next, flush the DNS cache to resolve any domain name resolution issues. The command sudo systemctl restart systemd resolved clears the DNS cache and allows fresh lookups to FlatHub servers. Finally, test your connection to FlatHub by pinging flathub.org. This verifies that your Steam Deck can successfully reach the FlatHub repository servers. A successful ping confirms that the network connectivity issues have been resolved. These basic network troubleshooting steps resolve the majority of Discover Store connectivity issues. Once your network connection is stable, the Discover Store should be able to access FlatHub repositories and function properly for installing and managing applications. When basic network fixes don't resolve Discover Store issues, we need to use advanced solutions that reset the underlying Flatpak system and clear corrupted cache data. First, we'll reset the Flatpak repository. This involves removing the existing FlatHub repository and adding it back fresh to eliminate any corruption. The first command removes the existing FlatHub repository. Type Flatpak Remote Delete FlatHub to completely remove the current repository configuration. Next, we re-add the FlatHub repository with a fresh configuration. This long command ensures we get the latest repository settings directly from FlatHub. After re-adding the repository, we need to update the application metadata. This command refreshes the list of available applications from the repository. Step two involves clearing corrupted cache files. The Discover application and Flatpak both maintain cache directories that can become corrupted and cause issues. First, we clear the Discover application cache. This removes any corrupted interface data that might be preventing the store from loading properly. Next, we clear the Flatpak temporary files. These files can accumulate during failed installations and cause ongoing problems. Finally, we need to restart the Discover service to apply all our changes. This ensures the application starts fresh with the new repository and cleared cache. First, we forcefully stop any running Discover processes with the kill all command. This ensures a clean shutdown. Then we restart the Plasma Discover service using systemctl. This starts Discover fresh with all our fixes applied. After completing these steps, Discover should open with a fresh repository connection and cleared cache. You should now see the full application catalog and be able to install software normally.